Hey folks, Steve Sheets here with Ghost Ranch Communications bringing you a quick tutorial today about how to force morph to behave. What I mean by that is uh, morph, super cool transition effect in PowerPoint. Hopefully you've gotten to play with it. There's all kinds of stuff all over the internet about how to make some great effects with it. But what people aren't really talking about is a new feature that helps you fix it when it starts moving things you don't want it to move or maybe it's not moving the things you do want it to. So taking a look here, I'll show what like a broken morph transition might look like. Um, pretty standard slide here. We've got some content up top and like a little where we're at indicators, these three dots on the bottom. Let's check out the transition. This is not what I want it to be doing here. The circles are moving, which is really distracting. The content up top, which is what we're supposed to be looking at, is just fading. So all the interest is in the wrong places. It's doing just the opposite of what I want all the way around. So wouldn't it be cooler if it was doing something like this? Yes, that is cooler. It's much closer to what I want. So what's the difference between the two? Well. If you look in your selection pane, which can be gotten to from the home tab, arrange, selection pane, this object has a very default kind of name. It's just rectangle seven. The objects in my morphs that are behaving have a very different naming convention. Not only am I calling them what I want them to be called, like oval L is the oval on the left, but they're all starting with exclamation point, exclamation point. Or if you're into coding, you might call it bang bang. So bang bang morph is a great way to remember this. I've named it bang bang oval L for the oval on the left. And naming convention follows the text container. This is all one object is called bang bang container. And this is consistent through every slide using those morph transitions into each other. And the exclamation point, exclamation point or bang bang is what the morph effect is looking for. Now, all of these objects are named consistently across the slides where I want them to morph into each other. One other thing real quick, uh, you can see it best here from slides eight to nine. Watch the word better. It just kind of fades and reappears. Not what I want it to be doing. So. What we can do is enhance the transition with effect options. And uh, if we go down here, we'll see that effect options here. I'm on the transitions tab. It is a morph transition. Effect options, I've selected words. By default, it looks for objects, but with words selected, it's also gonna look for individual words and it's gonna move those words between each other. Start the slideshow. Now if we watch the word better, it's gonna slide over along with the icon. And you can really see it here. Much more interesting effect. What are some common issues that people have around this? And there was a little bit of this touched on with you know the circles moving when I didn't want them to move, but like what happens when um, this is gonna go extra crazy because it's looking for words and I've got these text boxes underneath. What happens when these text boxes start going nuts on me? How am I going to fix that? Because this is just putting really unnecessary effects into the, uh, the bottom area there. What I could do is use the bang bang naming convention to give this one in the middle here a unique name. And that should stop the morph from working because you know, say we called it bang bang stay Obviously that doesn't exist on this slide or the slide after, so it should stay in place. But I also wanna use this as a teaching moment to talk about another common issue that might happen where even if you name something, the same thing using the bang bang naming convention, it might still just refuse to work. And the reason that that could be happening you can't morph from a group to a single object or from a single object to a group. So what I'm gonna do is make this box have no fill and I'll send it to the back just in case I wanna change the text later. I'm gonna select the text, I'm gonna group it. Now this is a group here and it's not a group on the previous slide, slide 16. It's not a group on the slide after. Let's watch it one more time and see if the text box behaves for me. And there we 
go. Now the text box is just fading. And that is how you can use naming conventions to get morph to behave as well as if it still isn't working even with that bang bang naming convention make sure you're not trying to morph a group into a single object or vice versa or if you just want a really quick way to break a morph that you want to go away turn one of the objects into a group and it'll stop happening hopefully that was helpful for anybody having trouble with their morph transitions don't forget to like the video subscribe to our channel we've got all sorts of informative content coming out and feel free to check us out at ghostranchcommunications.com. You can see our blog there as well as contact information if you want to reach out to us about anything PowerPoint presentation related or having to do with sales enablement. We'd really love to hear from you and we'll catch you next time. Thanks so much.